Hello and how are you? My name is Mahin Nambar and I will have you to our 6th, I think it's the 6th if not the 5th, uh, lecture of creating a market place. This, our destination is to create a complete marketplace that will have uh, a website, that will have a mobile application, that will have uh, uh, a, a, a back-end uh, administrators panel, so like a complete marketplace. So we have a lot of things to put together. So if that much say, let's go straight into our today's business and start straight away. As you know, always do 40 minutes. I'll go ahead and start our timer. And then I go to our project and we resume from where we stopped at in the previous lecture. So I've already launched our project. Here it is. And uh, you remember in the previous lecture, we were able to click on this ad and then we start adding the product that we wanted to do so we began with images where you can click on add and then go ahead and select on add images you pick from either camera or the gallery and the images will show up there so uh we began with um uh, so let's <laughs> all right so let's begin like with with images still with images still we still have a lot of a uh, few things to do with images so i can add the, the image it will show up there and add there the images it will show up there let's go ahead and uh, so i can add as many images as possible let me add just a few more and then we proceed so I select, so there are the images there, there are the images there. Uh, so uh, now uh, let's work on the deleting of the image, deleting of the image, deleting of the image. So I want when I click here, the image should be actually be deleted because you saw yesterday when we remove this, the, the image can be removed from the interface. But when we add more image, the image was not actually removed from the interface. It was, I mean, was not actually deleted from the database. So right now, we want to work on uh, actually actual deletion of the image from the database. All right. So let me see if my software started here. Just a second. Right, I started. Okay. Uh, so let's now do the deletion. The actual deletion of image from what? From the log database. Alright, so now let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um now I'll go back to our page of creating, which is this one stock item create. And then we're going to work here on delete um you see add product image this one here. Then I'm going to see here there is what? There is delete, where is delete? Okay, icon dot close. Yeah, it is here. The del the delete button is here. You see, we have only remove that, but I don't have that one that has the delete. Okay. So here on the item of the local images, okay, of the local images, we are going to put um, index, okay, index, and then we're going to put. Uh, just like you see here, there's upload self, upload self here, we're going to put delete self, okay? So, delete self, right? Okay, that's what we're going to use. So, let me duplicate this one, it's going to be delete self. So, in this delete self, you're going to put the logic whether it should be deleting only the local image or it should be deleting the online image, Okay? So let's go ahead and do that, all right? So we go ahead and do that, okay? All right, so let's change this one to delete self, delete self, all right? So delete self. So we come back now to edit here, where we have the close button. Instead of having items local, when, uh, uh, remove so it shall be first removing it and then we delete in background so we come here and delete in background like this all right so i'll go ahead and uh, do some await here so i can say string and say response equals to await 
So when you say await, uh, we do we we go ahead we go ahead we go ahead and uh, do a synchronous there. So we check if is empty. We know that he successfully deleted it. So if it is uh, if it's empty, we delete it. Okay. If it is empty, if it is. Huh? Oh. Ah, yeah, let me finish the lecture and I come. So, if is not empty, if it's not empty, I go ahead and post the response. Else, I post, I say, image deleted. Okay? Yeah, so that's how I can delete. Uh, yeah, so that is okay. Now, let's go back now to the delete self and work on the logic of deleting. So, delete self. First of all, we'll be first getting the image. So we shall just simply say uh, file. Alright, equals to, and then you say uh, local. So it's going to be local path. Okay. So we we may first check my. So you, you are going first to work, delete the actual image from the local database. All right, you may not even need to delete that because it can be the image actually from the gallery. So you don't need to delete that. Only that uh, we shall just delete the online one, okay? So we first check if it is uploaded. If it is uploaded, then we delete the one online, all right? It is not uploaded. Ah, so let's go ahead and do that. So we can just simply come and say, if it is uploaded, if is uploaded so how can we do that we can say if we just say check check if is uploaded the status is uploaded so if it is uploaded we go ahead and delete the online version of this image okay so we just simply go ahead and say uh so it is dot so you can just simply say response model response equals to response model and then say await and then say utils dot what dot uh, http post and then you put here the endpoint so the endpoint can be delete image all right so we know one thing that will always be there which is the local ID, the local image ID. That's a, a, a good unique identifier that we can know about the image. So in this data, so I open here curl bracket, and then we pass uh, local ID, and then we wait and see if to delete successfully. All right. So that's how we shall be deleting it from the online, right? So we check if response.code I mean dot dot code is not one okay dot code is not what is not one we go ahead and say we go ahead and return that it failed to delete because ah, so we can just if it failed to delete online we do not delete one offline so we tell the reason why that image was not deleted on online all right Oh, okay, we can just tell what the, the, the image was not deleted. Uh, we can just simply say maybe uh, here, we'll just come on top here, put a string and say message equals to nothing. So we go ahead and say, uh, we go ahead and say, uh, failed to delete online image because and then we pass the response message that that is in case we fail to delete the online image all right so let's first do the okay let, if we delete the online image successfully uh then if so we only run do this when it is actually there online then if it is there we can now delete the local image okay so you say await dot let me which are not delete the file which I just delete only the image itself right so let's delete the image itself 
or maybe you just check check if the thumbnail was created check if check if thumbnail is is existing okay so we go ahead and say file thumbnail path remember the thumbnail file is the only image that we generate so if the image of thumbnail is existing we go ahead and delete it okay if it fails we put the we, we, we add in the message okay we add in the message like that plus okay so lastly then we go ahead and delete the record okay here you can maybe return if it, it fails to delete the thumbnail okay we can just go ahead and add the record so this image has no big issues so let's go ahead and delete the all oh, the, the the record let's go ahead and delete the now the the actual record okay let's delete the actual record the actual record you can delete it from uh, delete all right so here we have the delete self we have the delete of the record itself it's already there in the method eh? it's already there in the method so you can just simply say await and then delete so we return the message so hopefully the message will always be empty return the message like this or can just simply go ahead and check it's that is delete it will return empty if it is successful so you can just go ahead and also delete and i wait for this all right so like that so let me explain this code this is delete self or this will be delete the entire image even from the online so it will go ahead and delete the uploaded i'll check if it is uploaded and then to try to delete the image from online if it is successfully deleted if it fails we put here the message okay if the id is not one so after deleting the online one that is the only condition that we put here remember this condition is wrapped here then we go ahead and uh, get the file the thumbnail we check if it exists we go ahead and delete the local one yeah, the thumbnail it, because the thumbnail is the only image that we use offline then if it successfully does that we go ahead and get the message of deleting the online and the offline one the actual image i mean the actual record from the database and then we also return the message so you hope the message to be empty if it is successful so that is the deletion now let's go ahead and uh, and do what let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do what let's go ahead and uh, create this logic of deleting the online one okay from the web portal so i'll go to the web portal i'll go to the web portal i'll go to the api api so this deleting is going to be just much more like uploading so i'll just come and duplicate this okay i'll duplicate that and then come instead of putting image uploading i'll put maybe image deleting okay image Delete, deleting okay so i'll come to this method i'll press on it so here it is so i can just simply uh duplicate up to here so i duplicate this and then i close it so this one i'm going to call it image deleting first of all I'll check if the user is logged in so that to avoid that uh, not everyone should be able to delete something so we go ahead and check the local id the local id is not there we just return that the local id was not provided okay so if the local id was provided we go ahead and get the image by the local so you say uh img equals to image uh, we can remove this constraint of uploaded by okay so like this so get the first image that is having that local id so we, because you already know at least one image will have one unique local id all right so we do that okay we do that so we check if the image is not found if image not found we return that the image was not found if it was found we go ahead and check check if uh if thumbnail exists so we go ahead and get and check if the thumbnail is i go ahead and check if thumbnail path is set is not null 
I go ahead and check if thumbnail is existing. If it's existing, I go ahead and delete it. Okay, storage path, and then I go ahead and delete it. Okay, public path, then storage. I go ahead and delete it. All right. So if 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 there, then I now go ahead and check the, if the image is actually existing. So the image we saved it in the local path. If you still remember, if it's existing, I go ahead and delete it as well. And uh, lastly, I delete now the image itself from the what from the database. So that's how we delete. So if it does all that successfully, I return back that the image was deleted successfully. I can even return its instance there. Okay, I return that the image was deleted successfully. All right, so let's go ahead and try to delete now and see if everything will be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete. So I'll come here back to our create screen. Our create screen. I come here to delete self. We can decide to be removing this the image from uh, deletion if the deletion was successful. That's when maybe you can remove it. So we can only know that deletion was successful if this was if this response is empty. So let me return in here before we do anything. Let me return at this point and then come here to delete self and see we check everything step by step, okay? So let's check everything step by step. So here we check if uploaded is uploaded. Yeah, so let's 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 first see what, what happens anyway. Let's first see what happens. So I'll come here to the console. Uh, let me see. Well, at least let me see what the response is coming from the online. So let me go ahead and do some printer. Put the data dot message dot code. All right. Uh, put here some column and then like that uh let's go ahead and delete so it's deleting this image is already uploaded remember so it's not deleting this all right okay i hope that's not it's not uploaded uh so um did delete it offline let's let's first check Uh, let me first, let's first check. Let's remove this return and see if it can delete everything from both sides. Okay. So let's go ahead and image deleted. Yeah. So it is deleted. It is deleting. All right. Yeah. It's deleting. Uh, let's delete all these. And this, uh -huh. let's try to add the image and see if actually it disappeared. So you see, it actually disappeared. So deleting. So we are not sure of, of, of online whether it's actually being deleted from online yet, but we're going to. We are yet to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. All right. So, um, let's delete as we're removing it from the interface. I delete, just deleted, 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 uh, deleted. Though it not know actually whether it was deleted online, <laughs> I failed to trace that. All right, so, um, let's um, see how we do it. This uploaded. Let's see. Delete self. Do you have uploaded status? Yeah, it is here. All right, let me first return here. All right, I'm going to work on that deletion, no problem. I'm going to work on it, it has to work. So I'll go ahead and display that. Uh huh. 
place the leads so it is pending they're not uploaded actually all right we shall check what they are uploaded okay so this is deleting here the whole point is deleting if i try to add an image you can see it was the, those images were actually deleted all right so yeah that is it and uh, they are actually uh, deleted deleting so now um let's observe let's observe let's let's, let's take this serious and uh, observe the the if the uploading status so I'll come to our local database and go on to market link and then come to images or oh, image model this one here so having four images there uh, let's try to to add a new image so I'll come here and add some images and I select so they are here so let's check the upload status they have not been uploaded okay so let's see why it's not uploading it's supposed to upload let's try to pick from camera maybe it's not calling the do upload try to pick from camera okay let me refresh here they are not uploaded okay so uh let's let's come back to the images and uh and try to put there some interface to show the status the actual status of images all right so let's come back to the images interface and do some actual status so you know that we are done with these images for good so i'll come here to create screen and then i come to the single to the single what to the single image ui which is here okay so let me give this container border so it has to be in decoration so uh, giving this image uh, this container some borders uh, so um, let's see these images are so huge let's give it some let's make these images 95 95 so you can put some padding and we're able to see All right. Okay, let's But I put it here. All right, so let me make this one an FX container. Uh, let me give some background, some color to be primary. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so I make it an FX container. Let me give it some um, padding, padding all. So I just simply put padding all uh, okay sorry edge inset dot all and make it maybe five so it can be really small 
So let me give you some border radius. 10. Yeah, so I think that is okay. That's okay. Or maybe I can make it um, border radius of 5. I mean, sorry, 10 and then uh, padding of 3. I think that's okay. So you can see the image here. So I'm going to see, I'm going to check uh, to be making these things to have status. So an image that is pending, I'll make it red. Okay, an image that is pending, I'll make it red. I mean that that has been uploaded, I'll make it green. Let's make this one. This, okay, let's do that. Let's make it three. I mean, five, so it can be meaningful. All right, so let's go ahead and check. Uh, if the image is uploaded, so you're going to say if ing dot uh, image status equals to upload it yeah we make it green okay we make it green else we make it red okay yeah so we make it orange so it means it, it is still pending if it is pending you make it orange if it has failed you make it like red okay Okay, so if it is painting, make it orange, I said make it red. That's how I written that logic. Now, uh, let me come and uh, make this. We come here to our stack here. This stack of removing. I can make this container have to be circular board of 100, so it can be a perfect circle. I can uh, reduce on the icon size. Where is the icon? I can reduce on its size and make it 20 so it can be smaller. Alright, so now in the middle I want to put the progress bar. The progress bar. Alright? The progress bar. So the image that have not been uploaded, uh, they should have something that is rotating in the middle of it. Okay, so how can we do that? So we shall need again position. So let me duplicate this position of uh, this position of, uh, of of circular. I mean of the closing icon and add there another one. So I can remove this inkwell. This one's not going to be clickable. So let me remove the inkwell. I remove it. Uh, so I can just say top maybe top to be uh a hundred I mean top to be maybe 50 I mean maybe top to be maybe yeah 50 let's try to begin with 50 and also right to be 50 so you have that one let's make it maybe 25 25 25 25 I want it to be in the middle uh, let's make this one 28 uh, let's make this one uh, maybe 30 uh, maybe 34 uh, 32 yeah then on top we can make it also 32 let's see yeah I think that is in the middle now so I want to put here a circular progress bar mm, so let me remove this uh, container I don't know that's going to help us uh, let's give it a background color of white okay and with opacity with opacity of 0.2 okay so our icon our icon i'm going to give it here a circular progress bar circular Circular progress bar. However, it is too huge, so you can wrap it with a uh, with a what? With a size box. So give it a width of twenty and height of twenty. Let's see, and then give it a color of white. 
can give it maybe color of the primary color all right so uh-huh so there you go i don't know why it's not rotating i don't know why uh why it's not rotating i don't know let me see why it's not rotating consumes eh? loading widget consumes entire tile sized i don't know why it's line position seven adding size width i don't know why this is a throwing an error mm. images that consume entire width mm. okay so um let's fix this error let's fix this error that's part of the lecture <laughs> that our time is going let's fix this error so what if i remove this clip rate so i just simply say true and let's say size box so once fix this error so is the error gone no it's not gone There is not going to so the error where it's coming from. Uh, uh, save. Let me go back to the. Let me just hide the entire list like this. Still, it's not the same. It's not gone. List tile. Somewhere where we have list tile. List tile. Why do you have list tile? Do you think these are the causes of the problem? To, oh, I think uh, the cause of the problem is here. This thing, I think, the one that is causing it. Top items here. Okay, so list. So I think that error should be gone. Let's run the project afresh. Let me see. Yeah, let's run a project afresh. Yeah, let's run project afresh. So we get rid of errors. So stock item creates. Okay, so that is it, that is it, that is it. Yeah, it is compressed, complete, comp <laughs> compiling. So let's wait for it to compile. The switched compiling. Let's go to the products. Hope there are no more errors there. Yes, there are no errors. Let's go to add. Let's add just some images. So before we submit them, so we check here. There are four images. I select them. They are all there. I don't know why this progress bar is not working. Progress. I don't know why it's not circular progress indicator. I don't know why it's not rotating. Oh yeah, I think this word value, the one that is making it not rotate. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so all right, so let's see why these images are uploaded. No, they are not uploaded. No, it's okay, no problem. So now we are going to 
uh, this progressive filter uh, let me give it color to be white what if you make it white how will it look like that is fine um, now we are going to we're going to go, come here and say this circular indicator uh, we're going to check here Uh, we, we can just make it here exactly the circular indicator or to be free we can put here say the circular indicator so we're going to check if something is uploaded we put a check if it is not uploaded if it has failed so if image is uh is pen okay if image is uploaded uploaded we go ahead and put the icon of check you see that all right so you put another condition if is if, if if it is failed failed we put yeah i think that's okay yeah i think that's okay so this one can be a uh, red this one can be green green the shade 700 all right i think that's fine now all right that is very fine all right so yeah there we go so they are not uploaded that's why you're seeing these ones okay so now i want now to manually call the upload now let's manually call the upload and see why they're not being uploaded uh so i'll go ahead and uh, come here where there is this plus so it is in actions here i'm going to call the when i click here, i want to call the do upload okay upload do upload what do upload function so there it is so all right i get it i get the point i get the point but not put there the logic of uploading that is why it is they are not being uploaded I think that's okay. We did not do it yesterday in the previous lecture. All right, so uh, let's finish this. Uh, so we shall just simply put here boolean and say is uploading by default. We make it uh, false. Uh -huh. So after we go ahead and the, uh, if is uploading, if an image is uploading, we return. But how we check for the network we check for the network if is not connected await so if await await and check is not connected we just make this is uploading to be false and then we toast no internet connection to upload all right Okay, we can just leave this one. We can just return without maybe notifying the user. It's okay. Uh -huh. Now, um, if it passes there, we, j we just say it's setting. And then we just... Uh, and now we get the next uploading, next file to upload. So I can just say image. Image. So we first get all the images. So we're going to get, say await. Await. And then say get all the local images and then go ahead and say if the images are all uploaded we just return if the images are empty if they are not empty we go ahead and get image to upload so i'll just simply come and say image model i say img to upload by default i make it uh false I mean, sorry, I make it just an image to upload like the way it sounds. Okay, so like this. So I go ahead and check. Uh, we get now the next image to upload. So we look through the local images for this widget, of this item. We check if there's any image that is pending and we break. So if it is there, we go ahead and check if the image 
I mean, so we go, we go ahead and check if the image has not been uploaded. So you can check if the image local path uh, length is greater than maybe five or maybe three, then we can know. Okay, let's say if local image path. Okay, you can just say image status is not pending. Okay, by default, it can be pending, so that's another problem. We can return. Uh, we can also check if the path is there. If the local path dot length is greater than three, I mean greater than two at least. Uh, if it's less than two, we return also. Yep. So uh, we return. All right. So if it passes all those conditions, then we go ahead and say it is now uploading. So okay. Sometimes submit can be failed, so I can just check for this. Maybe let's remove this condition here. Let's remove this condition. All right. So uh, more or less than uh, this. This should be five. Okay. And also maybe check if the ID is not zero. Okay. If uh, maybe local ID, I mean local ID is not zero. Maybe parent local ID is less than five. You know that's not a valid image. All right, so that's okay. That's now okay. So if it is part of those ones, you know it is uh, good to upload. So we go ahead and say set status. It is uploading, and then we go ahead and say uh, string uh, string resp, and say await and check upload cell and do upload cell. Remember, we've already finished that logic of upload. Upload self. Do upload. How did you call it? How did you call it? Upload what? Upload. Do upload self like this. Yeah. Upload self. All right. So we check if. Response is not zero. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not empty. Not empty. I just simply tossed it. I know that maybe something not go right. And then I can do this color of this toast to be red. I just tossed it. And then, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, so, uh, when it finishes, immediately when it finishes this upload self, I remember to set state. And make this an upload self to be I mean, do up, is uploading to be false to be false then since there are since there are many images since there are many images so i can just keep on calling these functions so it finishes here successfully i go ahead and call it again yep so that's it that's it that's it let's now check so it is uploading now you see check check you see they are being checked that's beautiful you see so those are that have successfully been uploaded now you see the images are coming here and they are nine right now you see that is beautiful so you can see that is so beautiful so let's go there to where there is this check. I can make it a little bit bold, I don't know. Maybe let's make it a little bit 25. Uh, no, we can leave it there. It is okay. Yeah, I think that is still okay. Maybe your opacity, we can make it a little bit less. I think that's okay. All right, that's okay. So you can watch that logic. You've seen we've done everything step by step. So that's it. Now let's try to remove an image and see if it will delete it successfully. So we have uh, nine images. Let's try to delete this one. So it has been deleted. Image deleted successfully. 
so here there were nine if i refresh there are eight that is so nice so it can even delete the one online that is so so nice yeah so that's it for today yeah let's begin from there in the next lecture and now do the real uploading but you can see everything is now uh, totally beautiful it is really beautiful very beautiful can remove this to be uploaded even from the online okay something nice really really nice all right that's it for today guys let's meet in the next lecture where we shall take it from there and goodbye so just keep practicing keep learning uh that's all it takes to become a senior in these things yeah so in case you have a question you can reach me through my whatsapp i'll be able to help you so goodbye see you in the next lecture